Alam niyo bang kay Oppo la ako magalang? We, di nga. We have here the Oppo A17. A for amazing, A for alas, A for ang next phone mo. Or not? Okay. Today, alam natin kung okay ba tong si Oppo A17. Let's see, ha? meron na siyang premium leather feel design. Ito po yung itsura niya, leather feel daw yung back. Parang yung wallet yung mamahalin. Skin friendly daw siya, masarap daw sa skin kapag hinawa ka mo siya. It feels like may laman yung wallet nyo. Hindi, wow. 50 megapixel AI camera, 5,000 mAh of long lasting battery, and up to 4 gigs of extended RAM na 64 gigabytes pa siya. Storage up to 1 terabyte via micro SD card. Guys, abot kaya po to. Ang tanong, dito mo magagamitin yung 13th month mo, kailan baka wala kang 13th month. But of course, alamin na natin kung okay siya. Gastusan for your 13th month. Basta Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, if you wanna check out the full specs of this phone, Punta ka lang sa unboxdiaries.com. We've got it all for you. Okay, so here's the box A17. Meron tayong black box. Sa loob is the SIM ejector pin. Meron siyang safety guide. Baka daw kasi mapahama kayo during your unboxing. Aray. Yeah. Okay. Quick guide. And, uy, nice. Box type jelly case. And here we have the phone. Guapo. Sa loob, ito po yung itsura niya. We've got here, ito ay 10 watt charger. And, oh no, I mean, oh yes, meron pa siyang micro USB. Iba na po kasi ngayon guys. Dat kung dati, ay micro USB ngayon guys, ay meron pa. Ito yung hinahanap ko. Very rare, I'm collecting. Hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit nag hit sa micro USB. Kung ano micro fiber nga ako lagi, so. Last mo nila. Here's the phone. Wow, this is massive. And look at that. Para siyang lock sa iPhone dati. It looks so nice. At oo nga, very skin friendly. Hindi siya magaspang. And it feels like real leather. Hmm, that's a nice texture. And look at that body. Box type design. I just love that. Pag nakita ko lang itong klaseng itsura, yung shape, na inlab ako agad. At ayun na nga, yung bago ngayon, yung big camera design. Big lens, big lens. Hindi big sensor ah, big lang yung design. And if you look closely, look at that. Yung camera niya, 50 megapixel. Hmm, parang mahirap maghanap ng 50 megapixel na cellphone at this price. Usually nasa 8 megapixel lang, 13 megapixel, things like that. We also have here sa ilalim ay LED flash at yung kanyang VGA camera. And look at the camera module. Wala po siya yung umbok. Mukha lang po mayroong parang drawing dito, no? looks like a bookmark. And here we have the Oppo logo. Very simple, yet very stunning to look at. Actually guys, kapag ka nakita ko yung phone sa malayo, ay mukha siyang socialin. Very premium looking phone. Iba na po yung itsura ng mga phones ngayon, no? Kung dati, kung entry level, mukha talaga silang entry level, no? Parang, alam mong chippy pie. But this one looks, it looks like na pwede ka makapag-socialan sa green belt, sa Okada, sa Soler. Oh my God! Dalhin mo to sa Louis Vuitton at papansinin ka nung nagsiserve doon. And it smells really premium as well. Parang kakalabas lang sa factory. Very thin and light. That is 189 grams. Tapos sa kanyang nipis ay only 8.3 millimeters. Very thin, very light. Of course, we need to cover the buttons and ports. So, shall din yung kanyang buttons dito. With the nice click, ito pa yung power button. Sa taas yung volume rocker. Sa taas naman ay wala dito. Sa ilalim yung speaker, yung headphone jack, yung microphone, and the smiling. Yes po guys, nakasmile po itong phone na to. Micro USB. Yung mga phones kasi ngayon guys, naka ganun na. USB type sina. Ito, masaya pa rin siya. Mga araw na masaya pa yung mga smartphones ngayon. So sa left side naman, iso kanyang SIM tray na merong dual nano SIM card slot plus micro SD card slot for expandability para marami kang ma-download, ma-picture, at ma-video. At ayun nga, yung kanyang display ay water drop notch. 6.56 inch, 720p HD+, IPS LCD display. The bezels are okay, the chain is okay, pero tinanong nyo ba kung okay ako? Guys, hindi ko na kaya. Ay, ay, ay. Dami na nababa sa akin. Sa akin yung buhay, uh, sa mga post ko, yung mga paggang ako. May actually masaya ako dito kasi nga naka Helio G35 processor na siya. 113,000 points. Saan to, to benchmark? Actually, yung Helio G series talaga is very 
very reliable when it comes to gaming. Pero man, man, no, uh, check natin yung itsura niya sa YouTube kasi you're going to use this all the time. Wow, I was not expecting this kind of image quality coming from this display kasi nga, nakalagay lang 720p. Ngunit, napakaganda po ng video dito. Although, tingnan nyo po yan, kaya doon niya up to 4K 60 frames per second. Kaya lang guys, huwag yun subukan kasi medyo nahihirapan na siyang i-render, ipalabas. What matters is napakaganda po. Very bright pala itong display and yung color is very accurate. Ah, ganda. I am in love with this display. Pero mas nakain love yung kanyang Mobile Legends. Ito na po. Ayan, meron siyang game engine turned on. May bago po siyang panel dito. Pwede mag pro gamer mode. Pwede may click yung game status. Ayun, lalabas yung FPS. Nice. Meron siyang game focus mode. Turn on din natin to. Para walang istorbo. Tatawag mo yung jowa nyo. Hindi siya tatagos. Matatapos yung pa rin yung rank game nyo. Okay, so naglaro ko ng Mobile Legends dito. Ito po yung napansin ko, no? While playing the game, ang napakasarap po ng likod niya. Very comfortable. It is that. Well built. Na performance wise, no? Uh, we were playing the game, we had to bring down the, the settings a little bit kasi nga medyo nahirapan siya kay Mobile Legends. It just needs a little bit of optimization then. Maghintay na lang ng updates for better performance nito. But so far, okay siya. Okay yung kanyang uh, itsura. Just don't expect too much. Oh, by the way, kung nahihirapan dito siya, pwede nyo siyang actually i-boost pa with the game engine turned on. Napansin ko pwede mo i-turn on yung kanyang FPS. Makita mo dito yung kanyang CPU usage. Also, meron siyang game focus mode. With this, hindi ka na maistorbo ng mahal mo sa buhay. Also, hindi ako makapag-exit. I can't accidentally press anything na ikaka-close ko yung application or switch or anything like that. Kasi nga, naka-game focus mode siya. Kala mo mag-exit dito. That is a very handy feature. Sa Call of Duty naman, ito yung tsura niya. Again, very playable. But of course, not the best I've seen on this game. Naka-low settings na ko dito. So, pero kaya naman niya. Laro yung game na to. Don't expect too much. Ang mahalaga, masarap sa kamay. Pero ito na, ang tunay na masarap, which is yung kanyang camera. Throughout the years, Oppo has proven itself to be one of the most reliable camera makers sa smartphones. And the Oppo A17 is no exception kasi nga, napakaganda po. Well, sa price range niya, alam ko naman sa yung tunay na maganda. This one is able to capture photos like a true high-end mid-range phone. Dito siya bumawi guys, napakaganda po ng mga photos niya. Gamitin niyo siya ng power of photography. Use the right angles. Wag against the light. And sa so selfie, iba pa rin yung tunay na selfie expert. Yes, siya yun guys. Ang guwapo. Ang guwapo talaga. What? I mean, I mean ang guwapo sa picture. Ito yung kapag nag-selfie ka, after 100 selfies, ang guwapo mo pa rin. No? Kahit mag-search ka sa gallery mo, puro mukha mo. Ayun no, even after hundreds of selfies na puro mukha mo, Maadik ka sa sarili mo. It takes narcissism to the next level. Mas mainlab ka sa sarili mo. My skin looks really good here. Smooth, vibrant looking. Kada picture mo, it gets better and better and better. So meron sa beautification, no? It whitens your skin, lightens your underarm. So kung nagpipicture ka ng kilikili nyo, wait lang. Kailangan na sample lang kilikili. Hindi nyo lang. Ito naman yung itsura niya sa video. Selfie video. And as you can see, Uy, okay siya pang vlog ha. I can say, maganda, no? Clear yung voice ko, and yung pinapata sa background and my face looks very pleasing. Hindi ko na kailangan ng makeup pa. Siya na yung bahala sa akin. Kung dugyut ka in person, dito magmumukha kang fresh. At ito po yung kanyang rear camera. Maganda siya, no? Ah, uh, clear. Very clear din siya. That is the power of the 50 megapixel rear camera. It looks much better than a selfie, but I'm just not sure, no? Dun sa kanyang beautification. Para mas maganda yung beautification dun sa harapan. Kasi nga, Selfie camera yun. But this one, mas okay to pagka uh, merong issue sa labas. Ayun, mas klaro. Meron din siya night mode, no? When you're out and about sa BGC or kung saan man ma-ilaw sa gabi, dito nagsashine yung night mode niya. It will provide you much clearer, less noisier images in low light. Night mode, guys, try niyan. Meron siya pro mode. That is quite surprising, no? Not many entry-level phones provide pro mode. But this one does. So if you're into photography and you're on a budget, this is what you're looking for. Poging pogi ka pa kapag ka selfie ka at nagpipicture ng ganyan, it makes you look like a professional or a social person. Okay, 
So far, Vince, parang okay na naman siya. But this is something na hindi ko pa nasabi. Nang dapat sinabi ko nung una. Which is, guys, meron po siyang IPX4 water resistance. 14 days high temperature and high humidity resistance. Bago nila nililist to sa atin, tinesting daw nila. 20,000 times USB plugging and unplugging. 28,000 10 centimeter micro drops. 150,000 volume button presses. And 500,000 presses, power button, durability. Ang tawag po dyan is the OPPO Enduring Quality. Para sure ka, long lasting ang bibili niyong phone. Thank you, OPPO. For... At ayan po si OPPO A17, entry level ni OPPO. Ang presyo, 7,999 pesos, 464. If hindi mo to kaya, no? Meron siyang OPPO A17K, 5,999 pesos, 364 naman to. Same processor, same battery, same pretty much everything. Nagkaiba lang sa RAM at sa kanyang camera. Ito ay 8 megapixels instead of the 50 megapixels. But of course, at a much, much more affordable 5999 na price. And oh by the way, dalawa po yung color ni Oppo A17 at A17K. Oppo A17 has the lake blue and midnight black color. Oppo A17K naman ay merong gold and navy blue. Amazing, isn't it? Kaya pala, eh, this looks like the Avengers logo. Let's talk lang. Pero sure ako, bida to para sa akin, Oppo A17. Ang tanong, bida rin ba siya para sa inyo? Let me know guys in the comments below. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Tapos, Vince, enjoy watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!